All right, folks. Uh, I've been getting into selling a little bit of bundles of firewood, if you guys have seen my last couple videos. But I need to make a locking firewood cage, basically, for one of the stores that I'm selling at. Keep people from stealing it, hopefully. But this is a pile of junk right here that I'm I got. I'm gonna be working with. This was an old dog cage originally, but I'll see if I can make something out of this. And I got some old cattle pan away over there leaning up against the fence if you guys can see that but we're gonna get this stuff all cut up and i'm gonna kind of get everything laid out how i want it we'll bring it in the garage there and we'll get it i'll start welding it up and then we'll slap a little bit of paint on it and see what it looks like just try not to get a whole lot of money wrapped up into this little project here until we start seeing how the firewood sells but you gotta stay tuned and we'll see what we can make out of that pile of junk right there. Alright guys, I'm I'm kind of just thinking as I go, but I think I'm gonna do two foot wide. I cut cut the dog cage down. It's gonna be two foot wide and it's roughly it's just like five foot two long, but I was gonna do like five feet wide, but I ain't gonna even mess with cutting it down. We're just gonna go with what it is. And I'm gonna weld a, a square piece of tubing there on the back side. I'm gonna put some braces in the middle too, because this these tubes or whatever they are, round tube, it's kind of flimsy, so I don't think it'll support the weight of the wood. But once when I get the back piece of square tubing one by one on the back side welded. I weld some uh, square tubing underneath, maybe like uh, every foot or every foot and a half or something like that to kind of help support the weight of the wood. And then I also, I'm gonna put some little price six inch legs on it or something. And then I may also put it on some like, some uh, oh, pieces of square tubing. I may put the legs on, on a piece of square tubing you know kind of like a skid almost it'll it'll slide across the ground but this is what i got so far but um the back side's just going to be fixed where you can't do nothing with it you know same thing with the sides not sure if i'm going to use a cattle panel yet or if i'm just going to go with the the round tubing that's already on the dog panels so we'll see what it looks like and see how many pieces i got that's good a lot of this stuff is rusted and bent because it was just it was in a junk pile but it's going to be uh, five feet tall with probably six inch legs on the bottom of it. And then I'm going to have like uh, a double open, like a double door on the front where you can open both sides of it. And it's going to have a lock and stuff on it. Hinges and all that good stuff. And I want to slap a top on it, weld it. But it's going to be two foot wide, five foot long, roughly five feet tall. And that's that's gonna be the dimensions of it right there. If things go good, when I if I start selling more firewood, then I'm gonna I may build something bigger and a little bit nicer. But right now I'm just trying to do this cheap as I can just to get something made. But well, I have some more cutting to do, and you guys can keep watching or not watch. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you guys like like this video here. Helps out. Thanks. All right, guys, I got most of my metal and stuff cut for my uh, wood bundle cage, whatever you want to call it. But here's the bottom right there on the ground. There's going to be the top. And I got my legs built for the sides and the back pretty much. And spared you guys some cutting, some grinding. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, putting the 
not the legs, but the pieces that's going to connect the bottom and the top, whatever you want to call them, legs, whatever, I don't know, but we'll start slapping those on there, welding those up, get them square, and then we'll put the top on, and then I'll start putting the sides. I still, still not decided whether I'm going to put cattle panel on the sides and on the back and on the front doors or not yet, but we'll figure that out when we get to it. Well guys, it looks like I'm going with a uh, cattle panel on the back, probably on the sides and everywhere else too. But I might put some smaller fencing over top of the cattle panel, but I, I'll just get to put this on here for a little bit of strength probably. I mean, you could still stick your hand through there and get wood out or whatever else, but surely nobody would. You have to cut a bundle of them so you can get, a, get your wood out piece by piece. But We'll go ahead and get this cut and get it slapped on or welded on there then we'll fill in this little section right here then maybe i'll put some regular fencing over this just maybe one or two runs All right guys, there's my uh, firewood cage with one side of wire on it. Uh, right now, I'm building my door. I wanna go ahead and put a couple more pieces of square tubing in it. One probably about right there. One or another one right there. I think it's got it at 20 inches and 40 inches. That way it kinda gives some strength to the, the fencing wire when I weld it to the door. But the doors, they're just, both gonna set in there kind of like this I'm gonna put hinges on them and then a lock in the middle I still got to build the other door but it's gonna have double doors on it where they both open up and then I'm just gonna spray everything with just a gray primer probably but I'm going to go ahead and start grinding some more on this door here and weld my other two pieces of metal in it. And then we'll see where we're at after that. Not going to record a whole lot more of me building everything. I might just show a little bit more when I'm kind of finishing it up. I'm sure you guys don't want to watch just a bunch of grinding and welding. So, or I may just put it on here and you guys can skip through it if you don't want to watch it. This is what we got so far. All right guys, here's my little firewood cage. I'm all done with it. I used just this wire mesh on the side. Piece of cattle panel on the back side of it. Wire mesh on the front. And the bottom and the top is just those round bars that was already part of that belt cage. But here's my little lock thing I made, pretty simple. And then my doors, I got two hinges, one on the top, one on the bottom swing open all the way around and down on the bottom of this door put this little latch kind of help hold that door shut but it works pretty good both the doors open all the way up swing open pretty simple just made out a bunch of junk except for the fence the fence was new i just i had that already so i used it but that's what it is it's five feet wide well long whatever you want to say and it's five feet tall by two feet wide 
the doors like this door is like five feet tall by 32 inches wide or something and this door here is like five feet tall by 20 20 some inches wide or something like that I, I can't really remember but there it is pretty simple the doors they swing all the way open like this fill it full of firewood good to go i just needed something that i could put a lock on for that little bait house store that i'm taking to do so i can fill it up with wood and don't really have to worry about people stealing it which i mean somebody can cut this wire pretty easy with a pair of pliers but if they want that bad i guess they need it that bad don't really know what the what else to say about that but there it is hope you guys enjoy this video thanks for watching